I'm Mike Huckman at the BioBus Center where I'm pleased to welcome Reynold Kappa-Casal who is the founder and CEO of a company called Flowmetric which is based here in Pennsylvania which is where Bio, the international convention, is being held this year. Um, this is a company that essentially helps companies within the life sciences sector, sector do more efficient and quicker and faster and better cell analyses in the laboratory. But that's not what we're going to talk about here today. We're here to talk about this, which, Ren, you are unveiling here at Bio for the first time ever. This is something you are calling the MOPOD. So tell us what the acronym stands for and what in the heck this thing does. Sure, I'd be happy to. Thank you for having me here. It's uh, uh, very exciting to be here to uh, describe for uh, everyone at Bio International what we feel is unprecedented in the world of personalized medicine, and more specifically, our first application, analyzing infectious disease, where it occurs anywhere in the world, in the field with our unit called the MOPOD. Which stands for? Mobile Point of Diagnostic. So this thing could be dropped by a drone into what, a war zone, into uh, an outbreak area, into a natural disaster field? Yes, it can be dropped. It wouldn't be dropped necessarily by a drone. It would be parachuted in. Uh, it could be lowered by helicopter. The case that it's built in is completely waterproof. And uh, there's the necessary shock absorbers in there to not interfere with the analysis, the very sensitive analysis that would need to be undertaken. So Ren, what does the Mopod do? So the MOPOD is the first ever of its kind, um, basically a mobile hematology lab. Huh. If you imagine what gets done in a hospital or a central lab in large cities or small cities and towns across the world where blood samples get analyzed, we have taken that blood analysis and applied it to a mobile unit that can be deployed anywhere, in the jungle, in the desert, or actually out of the trunk of one's car where literally it can be taken into a patient's home and blood work can be analyzed and in real time that analysis sent to the appropriate uh, medical personnel. And this, this weighs about 60, 70 pounds. This is actually Correct. a mini version of a slightly larger version that you have as well. So you have it right. um, flexible in, yes. two different, in two different ways. Now is this a pilot or is this ready to go? This instrument is actually ready to go. We have uh, partnered with a company called HandyM, and actually the nuts and bolts of what this unit does Besides this laptop here. is below here. Yep. This is a blood analyzer or flow cytometer, which has in it solid state lasers that allow you to analyze samples rapidly. And for us, the absolute new shift paradigm in blood analysis is we are doing this all with just two drops of blood. So not a vial or vials. So you do not need phlebotomists, you do not need blood draws as we all traditionally know. Uh, what we do is, uh, has been optimized using just drops of blood. Ren, very cool, and, and wish you all the, the best with this in terms of uh, success, hopefully. Thank you. But you started this company rather serendipitously, if you will. Um, you had a long, successful career in big pharma. One day you wake up, you have a pink slip in your inbox, and then lo and behold, you go to start uh, right. this company. That's true. Learnings for would-be sure. entrepreneurs and startups? Yeah. So uh, fall of 2009, I was told I was being laid off in a, in a 9,000 person layoff. I took about two days to decide that I was going to start a biotech company. I went back to work, completely transparent, announced to everyone that I was going to do that, raised two and a half million dollars in about six months. Wow and started a contract research organization, as you alluded to, that does uh, what I basically did my whole career, uh, add value to multiple preclinical and clinical drug development programs. So the lesson was, uh, I, I know it so well, I'll even say it in Latin, nunquam cede, never give up. There's always a way to do what you really wanna do. 
Uh, you just have to be persistent, tenacious, um, and uh, rely on your support uh, networks. Never, never give up. Never Reynolds give up. Reynolds Capocasal, the founder and CEO of Flowmetric and the inventor with his company of the Mopod. Thanks for joining us at the BioBus Center. Thank you.